when you know within yourself that there's something you want to do and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose that all of us have something that we are supposed to do that all of us have some goodness within us and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness not only is it possible for you to have your dream but it's necessary it's necessary that you have it that you work on it that you develop yourself that you go for what is yours in the universe every single day when you wake up you better be spending time on your dream you better be spending time on your you ain't got time to waste it is a sense of urgency it's a character of who you are it's not the title that makes you it's not the success that makes you the character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. They're one in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and then it's raining when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. But if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it. And if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulp, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. And the title of 2013, three-time Mr. Olympia, Now that's that thing called life, is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. I can tell you that now. Be aware of that. Things are not going to work out exactly right. For a time they will, sometimes. And that's when life is just playing a game with you. I don't want to play anymore. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not blowing up, the reason why you're not successful, you have not learned to pass. You think just because it's an opportunity, it's for you. And not every opportunity is for you. All of us have experienced some tragedy, and if we haven't, we will. And you can either let it destroy your life, or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let, you, let it hold you down, or you can decide, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. It's not going to be easy. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. We all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? Forgive and grow. You're about to separate yourself from the pack, and you're about to be on top. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. It's the way you see it. It's the way you think it. Your mind is the battleground. Touch somebody and tell them the enemy is after your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. I'm coming.
coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. Standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You're standing up for your dream. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? When you, when, you, when you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Once you make a decision and you go all in and you say, I ain't quitting till I get there. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I will do whatever it takes to be successful. And when you make that decision, you, when you look you in the mirror, when you tell yourself that, look, I'm through, I'm, I'll do whatever it takes, I get it. That's the debt begins to happen. Forget about your past. Forget what happened back in the day. Make the rest of your life the best of your life.